Hi guys, welcome to Canal. Today we are going to test Scott backlight function test. This is Scott uh, safety pro pack system with a mask complete unit. So for that we need a posi check machine which is made by Honeywell and we need one cylinder with high pressure. So what we are doing basically we will do a complete function test on the back plate using the software. So first we need to connect this uh, back plate to the high pressure line. So it will the connection will be like this. So it will come here and the low pressure connection will go in from this coupler to here and also the high pressure will connect it to the posi check machine as well okay so now we will i will connect and set up the machine okay so i basically connected to the system so connection all done and pressure line two are connected with the system as well as the back plate and low pressure connected here so now we have to open the software so this is the software interface so we have to enter password as well as username so after log on we will get this interface so we have to initialize the posi check machine so just click this one so it will automatic detect uh, what the details and it will log in So initialization is finished. So next we have to go for the test, complete a CBA test. So we have to select whatever test we need. So visual inspection, face piece leak test, activation test, leaking test one, pressure gauge test, alarm activation, bypass, pressure. So this is a test we are going to do on this SCBA backplate. So add new test. So we have to select the model number for the set. So now we have a pro pack 200 bar 55 working whistle uh, set so we have to we can get that from here this is the model number and this is activated of whistle at 55 bar okay so we have select the num model number and so click ok then here we have to enter the serial number so we will add the serial number as well here in the red marking area we have to enter the details so first we will enter the serial number of the set this is ai25879 okay that we can get it from the set this is the serial number and next we have to go for the demand wall number so demand wall set that one g double one two five eight seven six okay the reason number also the same as the sister uh, um, cb serial number so a i two five eight seven nine two five eight seven nine okay so accept so we will select this cb back right for the test okay so the test whichever we selected already got selected here okay so we'll press continue so this is the message showing do not connect the regulator do not pressurize so we have to follow this instruction okay so this is just like a visual inspection so face peak face piece pass or not not fail okay pass so everything we have to visually inspect before perform with this it should all pass i will tell you what and all okay face piece back frame cylinder alarms hose so visually it should all pass there should not be any crack or any defect on the back plate so action it should all pass if once one fail this we cannot perform the test so before testing we have to make the back plate ready for testing so okay done it is passed so test passed you can see the message here so we will go for the test plus continue so first we are going for face piece leak test okay visual inspection already passed so for that one it's a message is showing that face piece must remain vented while the length is positioned please keep the face piece vented until you are instructed to receive so now the face piece is 
uh, vented there is nothing connected to that okay so okay the system is getting ready so reseal the face piece to the test chat so i will reseal okay so i connected the face mask to the face piece so you should make sure that there, sh there is no leak in between the face mask and the face seal so we have to make sure that it's firmly connected there should not be any leak okay after we have to open the cylinder so okay so the system is now running you can hear some sound so first we are testing the face piece, face piece leak test with escalation wall okay so the pressure now is 6.5 okay 7.9 8.5 so it's already passed says is passed is 5.4 bar is activated at the acceleration wall is opening at 5.4 bar so the test is passed so okay no results okay you can see the result test passed continue next is act so next we will go for activation by static pressure test so now the system is position positioning itself okay okay now reset the first brief activation switch so i will reset this one okay press ok to continue Okay, you can see that test result passed. Okay, so that is breathing test. Okay, continue. You can see the breathing test. So the system is getting ready by itself, waiting for pressure to settle. So you can see the standard high pressure is 184 bar in the system. So it's minimum 160 bar should be there. So okay, so I will close the supply wall now. The supply valve is closed now. Press OK to continue. Okay. Now you can see the graph. So this is activated at uh, 55 bar. So it's showing pass. So breathing test also passed. Okay, so the breathing test also passed. So we are going for the next test is pressure gauge test. Okay, continue. Make sure the regulator is connected to the face piece. It's already connected. Open pressure supply wall. So we are opening the pressure supply wall. Okay, now system having high pressure 180. Six or one eight six six bar. So we have to close the supply wall again. Okay, we close the supply wall. Breaking down to target one. So we have to check the pressure gauge for the reading. So it's asking for the pressure gauge reading. Now it's almost. Uh, 160 bar okay I enter the pressure so this is basically pressure gauge test so at what capacity how much pressure is remaining we have to enter again so it's around uh, 110 bar so you can see how much pressure should be the, the range so whatever we are entering the value is almost correct so it's matching okay okay now the system pressure is 60 bar so it should also match and only it will pass okay okay it's passed it's about 63.2 so it is correct almost correct test is passed 
so we will go for the next next test so this is alarm activation test so for continue make sure regulator is connected to the face piece and open press supply wall so we will open the supply wall once one more okay waiting to press so okay we have to close the wall we will close it and uh, we will continue press ok click ok when 200 bar so we have to press ok when the alarm sounds at 55 bar ok whistle sound so we have to see the whistle at what time it will activating so at that time we have to press ok Okay, at 55 bar, I press it almost around 58. So it's accurate 58.4 bar. Okay, so system is fast. Okay, so now we will go for bypass test. Make sure the glitch is connected to the face piece. Open pressure supply wall. So we will we already opened the pressure supply wall for the bypass test, and we have to close the uh, wall again. So we will close the valve. Okay, we close the valve. We will press OK to continue. Okay, open the bypass valve fully. Okay, we have to open the bypass valve fully until they are inserted to close. So I open the valve, bypass valve. You can see the initial pressure and the current pressure is going. So okay, just pass. You have to close it. So close. We have already mentioned close the bypass so 89 point 89 liter per minute so it's passed so okay so now we will go for a high pressure leak test okay this is most important one okay make sure the regulator is connected to the face open the pressure supply wall okay okay the supply wall is open and we have to close it again okay after we have to go for High pressure leak test so it will test the leak it will check for any leak so starting pressure is 182 bar so it's checking whether it's holding the bar pressure now starting pressure now it's 181.1 okay okay so there is no leak only 0.3 bar drop so it's acceptable test is passed okay so we have finished with the test and we can save and continue this is how we are testing the uh, back plate using proceed check machine